Hi. If you watched my walk around on the 2019 Audi A8, this hunk of metal behind me, then you know all about its exterior design, interior comforts, and technologies, but you do not yet know about its advanced driver assistance technologies. And that is what I'm going to show you today. We're going to do some demos and show off all of the technologies that are first coming to the A8, and then we'll trickle down to the rest of Audi's lineup. So now we have an opportunity to experience the dynamic all-wheel steering system in the new A8. It works in two ways. At low speeds, the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction of the front, effectively shortening the turning circle to that of an A4, maybe even shorter. Um, in higher speed environments, the rear wheels turn in line up to two degrees with the front wheels effectively lengthening the axle, making it feel more stable at speed. Um, it should, in practice, uh, make you feel like you're cheating when you're driving, not having to put as much effort into driving the car quickly. So we're going to try it with the steering or with the dynamic steering system off, and then with the system on. See what the differences are. Yeah, so for example, here you need one, one and a quarter, just to keep that in mind when the system is active. So what ratio has it defaulted to? The default is a 15.8 progressive. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty slow ratio. But it's a progressive one, right? So that means if you oh, turn, so it has that on the on yeah, the rack. Yeah. Gotcha. So the rack position is changing Even with the ratio. Yeah. The ratio is changing with the rack position. So now it's up to 50, and then the lane change. Then you will U-turn to the left side. And then here between those two lying two cones. cones. Yeah. Do that infield again. <coughs> so now try the U-turn coming from the outer side. <coughs> try to get around. Yeah, do you see where we hit the red one here? Oh yeah, this thing does work. So here it's not even one round that you require on the steering wheel. You at least need to do not one over hand handover. So be aware the van is closing. Do you feel different? You don't need to move the wheel that much. Yeah, no, it's much less work. So and this is the problem with the conventional all steering system because now the rear is moving in the same direction and you would move the steering wheel more in the more direction right. to get around the corners. <coughs> so now it's getting tight again. But even here, you don't need to do a full round of the steering wheel. No. Now, unfortunately, you have to. <laughs> yeah, it worked. And then Next up are a pair of demos of Audi's predictive active suspension system. The first demonstration is what happens when the car senses that a T-bone accident is imminent. It will raise the side of the car up three inches to protect the occupants. So let's take a look at that. So the first round will be deactivated so you get an impression what the car is doing inside and then um, the second round or the next rounds are with the system. So active 
suspension of course is active, it's always active, mm -hmm. but the predictive functionality, so using the camera signals is not activated. To add a little more information to that predictive active suspension, uh, what we were experiencing in this side impact, the reason they want to raise the side of the car is because the side sill is far stronger than the doors themselves. So by elevating that, putting it in f between effectively the passengers and the attacking vehicle, um, you are protecting the passengers a bit. Audi says it doesn't uh, make the car any more prone to rolling, so that's not a concern. Um, it's just a really key feature. Now for the uh, predictive active suspension going over the bumps, that is using all four of the um, individual 